I mean, if you look closely, there is a lot of similarities. Speed, agility, finishing. Just look at this. They both won a lot of titles early in their careers. Like Mbappé, Anelka was also the most exciting prospect at the time. He was also confident like him. But the comparison stops there. Nicolas' career was kind of a chaos. Between failures and conflictual relationship with the press. Let's take a look at the career of a young man who had to fight to obtain what we all thought was his natural destiny. Trained at PSG, Anelka rapidly shocked everyone by not signing his first pro contract with the French club. Arsene Wenger took this opportunity to sign him. Anelka was the first young player doing that. A legal battle took place to confirm the signing. He had a rough start in London, but surely he began to show what kind of player he was. Kind of a raw diamond the first year, he really started to shine the season after. And when there is a new diamond, that one club is still there to buy. Madrid made it rain to get Anelka, who desired to play for the greatest club in the world. But Real Madrid ain't no joke. Anelka was rejected by the locker room, who saw in him a threat to Morientes. Mix it with the strong character, bad performances, and the press going hard on him, transfer was a bust. Despite all that, he succeeded to be clutch in the Champions League and won it at 21 years old. After this bad experience, he decided to go back home. He returned like a rock star in Paris with a record fee for PSG. Unfortunately, this was a bust. Again, coach sacked, bad performances, the press mocking him. He was loaned to Liverpool, but they didn't want to keep him. At this point, Anelka was not a future star of football anymore. Big clubs didn't want him. And he entered the grind phase of his career. Kind of a phase of intense training in an anime. He had to work his ass off. During five seasons, he competed in smaller clubs like City, Fenerbahce or Bolton. He crafted his game far from the spotlight and became a mature player. And the big break finally came. Chelsea was looking for a striker to compensate for the absence of Drogba. And during his first month, massive trial for him. Penalty shootout against Manchester United in the Champions League final. It was just the beginning at Chelsea. This failure made Chelsea and him stronger. He became a key player at Chelsea. A more accomplished player. He had a lot of influence on the pitch. And icing on a cake, in 2009, competing with Cristiano Ronaldo, he succeeded to win the Golden Boot with this banger. But the controversy was a never-ending story with Anelka. He was excluded from the French team following an anonymous lie from the French media L'Equipe. That event led the French team to go on a strike during the World Cup. Anelka had short stints to complete his career and another manufactured controversy accusing him of being anti-Semitic. Overall, that young genius took his time to prove his value. He could have done more for sure, but it could have been worse. And at the end, he grew into a man who owned his mistakes. <laughs> 